Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video. If you've been following my YouTube channel, I've been in the process of designing a repeater controller board, and that's what I'm going to be setting up here, to hook it up to my antenna. I took out the other repeater that was here. I'm going to be doing some distance tests with this setup, but this video is going to be about the setup and how I have things set up here. Um, the first thing I want to mention is, uh, like I said, this is a repeater controller board that I designed. It does not use any Raspberry Pi. It does not use any computers, no mini PC, no nothing. You plug in the interface board to each radio. There's a volume adjustment on the radio. You adjust it to your likings for how loud, and that's it. You're done. Now, this, you're probably wondering, what model radios does this work on? This will work on three different model radios. First one, the T TYT 9000D or the Redivis RT 9000D or the Alinko uh, DR438. It can be the ham version. It can be the GMRS version. But you, you should know if you're going to use the Redivis RT 9000D or the TYT 9000D, you will need to install the repeater cables in the radios. I have those on my online store. I'll put all the links in the description below and the video and how to install it. It's real simple, um, but you will need to install those. The only radio that does not need that to be installed is the Alinko DR438 model that comes with that cable already installed in the radio. So, uh, so I want to make that clear. Now, another thing too is I want to mention is I recommend a minimum of six inches between the top of this radio to the bottom of this radio. And I recommend putting the transmit radio on top and then the receive radio on the bottom and also a fan. I don't have my fan here now, but I do recommend that. That way you can get airflow. I may enclose this with some sheet metal so I can really direct the airflow even better. But for now, it's still cold here in Wisconsin and I'm just doing some quick testing uh, like I say I'll bring I'll do this is part one video and, I, and then part two will be the actual distance testing and playing around with the repeater controller board um, so now you're probably wondering well how many watts does this put out well my transmit radio and just to explain that I have a, a TYT 9000 D on top that's my transmit radio and I have a Redivis RT 9000 D on the bottom you you can mismatch radio brands it doesn't matter but um, the TYT 9000 D radio I have on top has been used and abused um, and it only puts out about 30 watts on high power so by the time it goes through the duplexer and comes out of the duplexer, I get about 25 watts. So you're looking at about 25 watts is what I will be pushing out of this uh, setup. Um, now, the, there are they're, they're 50 watt radios, but usually they do like about 45 under normal circumstances. Uh, but that, like I said, that TYT's seen better days. So that's going to be my transmit radio. On top, you put that to your transmit frequency, and then the receive radio, you put that to your receive frequency. What I did is I programmed these two radios to be identical. So if I need to switch them out quickly, all I got to do is either switch the cables and back, or switch the radios around, and then select what frequency, low power or high power. It's already I, I already pre-programmed it. So if my transmit radio has a problem, I can quickly come here. Uh, switch out the radios and then just change the frequency. I don't even need to reprogram them. It's all I got them all programmed to be either a receive radio or a transmit radio is what I'm saying. So that's how I did that. Um, another thing, I am running a duplexer because I only want to use one antenna. You don't have to use a duplexer, but I do recommend doing that uh, because that way uh, you, you don't have to use two antennas. Now, if you do want to use two antennas, that means you're going to need two antennas, two coaxes, and your antenna should be a minimum of 30 feet apart. Well, I don't want to monkey with that, so I'm just running a duplexer. That you, it's right there on the bottom. You probably can't see it, but that's what that uh, I can. And I'm running LMR 400. It's going to be the same antenna setup as I did in all my other videos. Um, I do have a power supply here. It is a adjustable uh, 30 amp power supply for $25. Uh, go to my forum. I have a link on how to purchase that from Amazon. I have that hooked up to a terminal block. Each radio is fused 
and the power supply is plugged into a smart Wi-Fi so I can shut off this repeater remotely using a tablet or a smartphone with the app. So I can do that. Now, like I said, this does not use any computers. So there is no um, Zello. There is no date and time, no weather announcements, and no repeater ID. Now, I know what you're thinking before you get all puffy cheeks on me and start typing on that keyboard. Yes, I'm aware that the repeater should identify itself every 15 minutes. Well, I can easily solve that. I just did a video the other day how you can make a cable from my other interface board and we can plug that cable right into the microphone jack so I can give this repeater, uh, uh, actually I can give this repeater date, time, weather announcements and repeater ID if I needed to. But for my testing, short time of testing it, we're not going to worry about repeat, repeater ID at this moment. So, uh, so yes, I am aware of that. Also, this does not use any Vox at all. Um, I do have the microphone do plugged in, but I do recommend when you're not using a microphone that you unplug it. The reason being is these radios, whether it's the Linko, the TYT, or the Redivis model, when they are keyed up, they automatically turn on the microphone. So when this is set up in a repeater mode, and the microphone's plugged in, you may hear background noise because the microphone's plugged in. So unplug that uh, when you're not going to be using it as a base station. So um, let's see, what else am I missing? Wattage. Now, like I said, this radio, the TYT9000, has been abused and used. It does about 30 watts on high power. It puts out, after the duplexer, about 25 watts. So there you have it. I'll be pushing about 25 watts out of the duplexer into my coax cable. Um, so how am I going to do this? Um, I will be running a simplex repeater uh, to record my voice and play it back. But before I show you that, I want to... I got a handheld here. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I, I'm really close here. So there might be a ton of feedback. Um, I also got LED lights on, so there might be some noise in the, uh, you know, with LED lights, the radios pick up the hum noise and all that stuff. So I do have LED lights on, but I'm going to try, I'm going to talk on this radio, and hopefully um, you will hear it key up uh, on the, I think I got the volume set on the receive radio. So I'm going to talk on here, I'm going to put my microphone back through here so you can hear it being coming over the radio now one other thing I want to mention every time I do this with these type of videos and I key up a radio the microphone on my headset that I'm using to make this video may cut out if it does be patient with me um, my sound will come back so let's see if I got this set up right one two three four. okay I can hear okay so let me take the headphone off I'll put it right here remember my bottom this may not sound real good, I don't know. My bottom radio is my receive. I got the volume turned up. One, two, three, four. three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you hear that. Now we're going to take the headset, put it back on. Now I'm going to turn the volume down on this radio. I want it down to begin with. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm going to turn the volume up. Well, I'm going to try to do this on the handheld, and I'm going to talk on the microphone. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm, I got to move that over. I'm way too close. Let's see if I can put it over here. I don't know how this is going to work. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, it's hard to do with all this interference. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You probably can't hear that. So let me turn on the simplex repeater, and then you'll get an idea how this is going to sound. So let's go over here. We're going to t t turn the volume down on here. Let's turn on the simplex here. Okay, simplex should be on here in a minute. Let it boot up. Oh, while well, that's booting up, what I'm doing here is I have my repeater here. Then about 10 feet away, I have my simplex repeater. That will record all voice activity and play it back. Now, that's going to be helpful when I do my distance test. Then I can hear how it's going to sound. Now, like I said, this is about 10 feet away from the repeater. And you're probably wondering, why do you have it so close? Because I don't want to ha be, have any doubt 
that this is too far away. And if I pick up any type of noise, I want to eliminate that it could be coming from this because it's, the distance is too far apart. That's why I like it to be about 10 feet away. So that's my simplex, a modified ball fang. I got it adjusted so-so. Um, it's a modified ball fang hooked up to the blue box that's hooked up to this laptop running the simplex repeater software. Simplex repeater software, like I said, records all voice activity and plays it back. So when I say hi, you'll hear it twice. You'll hear me say hi, and then a few seconds later, you'll hear it be played back over the radio. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to talk on this handheld, which is obviously programmed that repeater, and then that simplex is also programmed that repeater. That's going to record it and play it back. So let's see if this is going to work. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So there you go. Let me try it again. It's so hard to do when you're so close to everything. Hopefully my microphone and my in the video don't cut out. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So it sounds pretty good. So that's where it's simplex. That's how I'm going to do my distance test. Um, like I say, I'm still testing this prototype uh, repeater controller board. We'll see how it works. If anything checks out, I'll, I'll have that for sale, the repeater controller board for sale. Um, but I'm still testing it. So there you have it. Any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.